Poetry by Pete Hein. Dream Interpretation. Simplified. Everything's either concave or vex, so whatever you dream will be something with sex. Ars Brevis. There is one art, no more, no less, to do all things with artlessness. The Egocentrics. People are self-centered to a nauseous degree. They will keep on about themselves while I'm explaining me. The Eternal Twins. Taking fun is simply fun, and earnestness in earnest shows, shows how thoroughly thou none of the two discernest. Eternity and the Clock. A homage to Finity. Eternity is one of those mental blocks. The concept is inconceivable. The clock concedes it in ticks and talks, belittled, belabored, believable. Each passing moment is seized and chewed with argument incontestable. Premasticated like baby food, eternity is digestible. An ethical group. I see and I hear and I speak no evil. I carry no malice within my breast. Yet quite without wishing a man to the devil, one may be permitted to hope for the best. Grook on long-winded authors. Long-winded writers I abhor and glib prolific chatters. Give me the ones who tear and gnaw their hair and pens to tatters, who find their writing such a chore they only write what matters. Hint and suggestion. Admonitory group addressed to youth. The human spirit sublimates the impulses it thwarts. A healthy sex life mitigates the lust for other sports. If you know what I mean. A poet should be of the old-fashioned, meaningless brand. Obscure, esoteric, symbolic. The critics demand it. So if there's a poem of mine that you do understand, I'll gladly explain what it means till you don't understand it. Investment policy. Anxieties yield at a negative rate, increasing in smallness the longer they wait. Last things first. Solutions to problems are easy to find. The problem's a great contribution. What's truly an art is to wring from your mind a problem to fit a solution. Lilac time. The lilacs are flowering, sweet and sublime, with a perfume that goes to the head. And lovers meander, in prose and in rhyme, trying to say, for the thousandth time, what's easier done than said. Mankind. Men, said the devil, are good to their brothers. They don't want to mend their own ways, but each other's. Meeting the eye. You'll probably find that it suits your book to be a bit cleverer than you look. Observe that the easiest method by far is to look a bit stupider than you are. Naive. Naive you are if you believe. Life favors those who aren't naive. Nothing is indispensable. The universe may be as great as they say, but it wouldn't be missed if it didn't exist. Omniscience. Knowing what thou knowest not is, in a sense, omniscience. The opposite view. For many system shoppers, it's a good-for-nothing system that classifies as opposite stupidity and wisdom, because by logic choppers, it's accepted with avidity. Stupidity is true opposites, the opposite stupidity. The overdoers. Truth shall emerge from the interplay of attitudes freely debated. Don't be misled by fanatics who say that only one truth should be stated. Truth is constructed in such a way that it can't be exaggerated. Prayer. To the sun above the clouds. Sun that givest all things birth, shine on everything on earth. If that's too much to demand, shine at least on, on this our land. If even that's too much for thee, shine at any rate on me. A psychological tip. Whenever you're called on to make up your mind and you're hampered by not having any, the best way to solve the dilemma you'll find is simply by spinning a penny. No, not so that chance shall decide the affair while you're, pa while you're passively standing there moping. But the moment the penny is up in the air, you'll suddenly know where you're hoping. 
The Road to Wisdom. The Road to Wisdom? Well, it's plain and easy and simple to express. Air and air and air again, but less and less and less. A Toast. The soul may be a mere pretense, the mind makes very little sense, so let us value the appeal of that which we can taste and feel. Two pacifists. Eradicate the optimist that human values will persist no matter what we do. Annihilate the pessimist whose ineffectual cry is that the goal's already missed however hard we try. The ultimate wisdom. Philosophers must ultimately find their true perfection in knowing all the follies of mankind by introspection. What people may think. Some people cower and wince and shrink, owing to fear of what people may think. There is one answer to worries like these. People may think what the devil they please. 